So far, we've talked about probability distribution functions, and in particular, the Gaussian distribution. So the best way to describe your uncertainty about something will be to say, I don't know exactly what this number is, but it follows this probability distribution function, say a Gaussian with mean of 4 and a standard deviation of 2.2, or whatever it might be. People don't normally do that, though. They simply say, you know, the voltage here is 7 plus or minus 0.3, volts, or the length of this is 5 plus or minus 1 millimetres. So how does this number, with a plus or minus, compare to this whole Gaussian stuff we've been talking about? Well, you'd think that if you say, oh, I'm not quite sure what the length of this is, but it's going to be 10 plus or minus 1 millimetres, you'd think that would mean that it's going to be somewhere, let's say, 12 plus or minus 1, you'd think it means it's going to be somewhere between 11 and 13. But it couldn't be, for example, 10.5 or 13.2. It has to be in this range. You'd think that, but you'd be wrong. Well, not quite. This definition is actually used in engineering, and it's called the tolerance. Um, what you're saying in this case is you are guaranteeing that everything will lie within this range. But it's actually not very useful in science, and in fact, some engineers are also arguing against it. Why not? I mean, it seems pretty intuitive. If you say something is you know, 4 plus or minus 1, it must be between 3 and 5. Why not? Well, the trouble is this wretched Gaussian curves. It doesn't have a nice sharp edge. If the curve looked something like this, then a tolerance would be a very good definition. You could say it will definitely be, say in middle here, within this range. So you'd say the value is you know, x here, plus or minus, whatever that range is. And you'd know it was always in that range. The trouble is, for a Gaussian, a curve that's more gentle, where is the edge? You could say it's always going to be, I don't know, in this range here, and so say value is x here plus or minus that. That's not true. I mean, the, the Gaussian curve is low down here, but it's not zero. There is a chance of it being outside that. So it could move our margins even further out, but there's still going to be a chance of it being out there. In fact, no matter how far out you put the boundaries, there's always going to be a small chance of getting a value outside it. So it actually doesn't make sense to pick a value and say it would always be inside that of things which have a Gaussian distribution. Luckily, there is a standard, the standard uncertainty, sigma, which is the same sigma we saw in the equation in the last thing, and it's that value there. It's defined as a standard deviation of the distribution, and that is actually an international standards authority standard for describing uncertainty. So in this course, and in many other courses as well, and in much in the real world, if you want to describe an uncertainty, you should use the standard deviation. And remember, this means that a number, if you say something is 10 plus or minus 1, it doesn't mean everything will be in the range of 9 to 11. If you remember the figures we came up with from our Gaussian, that's that um, you will lie within one standard uncertainty of the mean 68% of the times, two standard deviations 95% of the times, three standard deviations 99.7% of the times. But it uh, could well be further out still. 